Hey everybody, I'm Erin Walker, owner of Body Love Wellness, a holistic wellness community for women. And today we're gonna to continue the conversation around mental health by honing in on anxiety. Anxiety and depression are not the same things, and you know this very well if you suffer from the white-knuckled grip of intense fear and panic that seemingly comes out of nowhere and that is really difficult uh, to calm down and get your body to release. Anxiety, just as with depression, can be significantly debilitating and affect your day-to-day -day life. So let's talk a little bit about root causes, because if you go to your doctor uh, and say you're feeling anxiety, oftentimes they will prescribe a prescription medication that may help you feel better in the short term, but really until you address the root of why you're experiencing the anxiety to begin with, um, you really are not going to feel consistently well over time. It is a hormonally driven issue. It is not just quote unquote all in your head, although mental health uh, and learning coping skills can be a huge um, additional uh, support in learning to deal with anxiety. So let's talk about the hormonal connection between anxiety um, and uh, your body. Uh, so one, stress is the number one driver of anxiety. We all have some sort of stressors in life, but chronic, significant, almost debilitating stress in many instances causes the body to pump out higher levels of cortisol or stress hormone. We've talked a lot about this. Now, uh, let's think about how this then connects to what else is going on in the body when you have anxiety. Around day 14 of your menstrual cycle, your body starts to increase its production of a hormone called progesterone. It supports fertility, but it also gives the brain a sense of calm and well-being, um, which is why you tend to be a little calmer in the second half of your cycle. Now, if you are stressed out, your body is going to prioritize survival over fertility, which means it's going to pump out higher levels of cortisol uh, and less uh, progesterone. So you're going to have less of your body's natural calming, well-being resources, more of your body's uh, stress response resources. Something called HBA axis dysregulation or hypothalamic pituitary adrenal gland dysregulation also plays a factor here. Your adrenals also produce progesterone for you and your adrenals is where your cortisol or stress hormone comes from. And stress causes this, these three glands communication to be disrupted and they don't function the way that they normally should. So when you put all this together, we have natural lower progesterone, so natural uh, body's defense to help you feel at ease is lower. We have higher cortisol, which is your body's stress response hormone, and this dysregulation causes your body to push out more of two um, neurotransmitters called norepinephrine or epinephrine, which basically tells your brain to freak out. So you have a perfect storm of hormone imbalance that is fueling a lot of the anxiety you may be feeling. And this also doesn't address the other root cause factors that could be playing an issue, like gut health. Your body makes 80% of your body's serotonin is made in your gut. So you have gut imbalance that also is gonna fuel uh, the issue, as well as inflammation. Chronic inflammation uh, can also uh, fuel uh, this imbalance and exacerbate the anxiety. So lots of factors at play here, but we're all about taking a root cause approach. So stick with me this week and I'll share what you can do to help your body boost its progesterone levels, help it flush out some of that excess cortisol, help heal your gut, and help reduce inflammation in the body to relieve anxiety naturally. Have a great week.